Well, Stephen, I think that in this country, uh, the Black story is told by others. And so Black opinion and the Black narrative is under a sort of like uh, uh, cultural occupation. And so I had to go to Montreal to get this book published. Uh -huh. And uh, it was supposed to be published in the United States, but uh, that's another story. Um, I thought that uh, what I call the Ali scribes, I think mostly privileged white men who uh, control the story about Ali had left out important uh, information. Uh, for example, uh, the, the great influence that the Nation of Islam uh, played upon his thinking. So for example, I think that uh, what uh, Muhammad Ali did was to follow the teachings of uh, Elijah Muhammad and sort of like, uh, I, don't, I don't wanna use the term like parroted or like, uh, sort, of like sort of like repeated the pronounces of Elijah Muhammad. This part of his story is left out. And uh, I think that the Nation of Islam uh, is dismissed by what I call the Ali scribes, the people who have a monopoly over that story, his story, uh, because, uh, it, it, because they considered the Nation of Islam to be uh, hate mongers. Mm 